Hello, we're here for the Daily Forex Report for May 10th. We are looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair first. This particular pair gapped up significantly, pulled back almost basically within one pip of closing that gap, then moved higher, did close higher. We are looking for this pair to continue overall moving sideways with a bias that is sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 131.54, possibly as low. That is the yen, the euro number. Uh, possibly as high as 94.03 and as low as 90.87. Look for some resistance around 93.95 and look for some support around 92.50. Okay, now on to the Euro USD pair. This pair gapped up, closed lower, uh, did move basically up to previous. Uh, support, which was now resistance before closing lower. Looks like it will be filling the gap very soon. We are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with the bias sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 131.54, possibly as low as 126.77. Look for some resistance around 129.95 and look for some support around 127.25. Now, the pound US dollar pair, this particular pair closed lower, did gap up, but filled that gap. Overall, we're looking for this pair to continue moving to the downside. If we do get a pullback, look for it to potentially go as high as 151.26, possibly as low as 146.64. Look for some resistance around 150.50, and look for some support around 147.50. Okay, now the US Swiss. This particular pair gap down, closed higher, moving higher, uh, overall moving sideways, biased, uh, still to the upside. Look for it to potentially go as high as 11178, one, possibly as low as 10875. Look for some resistance around 11125 and some support around 10925. Okay, as far as news announcements goes, we have the your, the European uh, Central Bank uh, releasing, or the, the Germany Germany's releasing uh, the Consumer Price Index, which will affect the euro at 2 a.m. Eastern Time. Consensus on this is that it's held at 1.0%. We also have uh, the German CPI uh, harmonized with the EU for the year for April being released. Similar numbers, 1.0%. Now, as far as what I'm looking at during this next session, we have the pound. That has created a swing trade setup. If you take a look, we have our setup here. It's created over the past three sessions. We have a lower, uh, a lower high in the bar before it and the bar after it, and a lower low than the bar before it and after it. Swing trade setup, looking for a buy. We are looking for it to come back up to this point of previous support, which would now be resistance. Basically what this would look like would be basically a 115 pip move. I do believe if we get a pullback in the pound that we will see this. Uh, if not, we'll see it, of course, move lower. Well, that about wraps us up for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.